All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to want to do, um, we'll go ahead and take the Deans off here. And I'm using a soldering iron with a, with a little flat spot on it. Hopefully you guys can see this. And uh, really all I do is I take the, the flat end of the Deans and I just set it on there. Um, I grip the Deans with my pliers, of course, because it, it's going to get hot. So go ahead and set that on there. And once it heats up, the solder flows, you can literally just pull them right apart. So... Let that solder get warm for a minute. Sometimes it takes a second. Soldering gun's probably still trying to heat up. Bam. Popped it right off. And then the, the solder will kind of pool a little bit. So if you just pull it off, let it bubble up, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll pre tin it a little bit more, but we'll still keep that solder on there for the next one. So. Go ahead and do this one, same thing. Let it sit on there for a minute. Usually it'll just pop right off. Bam, popped right off. So there's our Deans. Now let's go ahead and do the motor wires. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the motor wires off. I'll show you how to just do one um, instead of all three. But I take my little aligned pliers here. Um, basically just hang on to it. Go ahead and set that right on the soldering iron. Same concept, it's gonna get nice and hot and then we should be able to just pop it right out. Let's give it a second here. Sometimes actual pliers work a little better because they give you a little bit better of a grip so we might actually just switch to those real quick. So I can see my solder flowing. Go ahead and disconnect them like that. Um, still got some solder in here so that'll be useful um, and this leads nice, nice and empty. So um, one thing I always do, um, I am going to keep this laying around um, and just for safety reasons, I'll, I'll slip some heat shrink on the end of all these uh, little wires here just so they're not exposed and damaged in case I want to use this for later use. Of course, this one's damaged, so um, I'll just keep it around for scrap. But if you're just swapping out for newer ESC, um, you know, just to take care of your wires, go ahead and uh, put some heat shrink on those end ones. So now we're going to go ahead and solder the new Deans on to the, the castle and then the motor leads. So we'll do that okay. next. So next thing we're going to go over is... Uh, pre-tinning the wires. Um, they already come pre-tinned but I like to heat the solder up, add a little bit more of my own. Um, just that way it flows and sticks a little bit better. Um, so usually what I do to heat it up, um, usually it's a little stubborn, so what I do is I take some fresh solder and I'll put a little bead of it on the uh, on the soldering iron there and then go ahead and set your your wire on the puddle. And Then you'll see them, you'll see them flow together once they do that give it a minute then you can kinda go through you know and if you touch the solder to this it'll it'll tell you if it's ready or not um, let me go ahead and add a little bit more here so that it's a little fresher there you go and now I can go ahead and you know just really fill up the wire let it get a lot of solder on it and then go ahead and pull it away it's nice and shiny good pre-tin so uh, go ahead and do that to all three wires and then uh, we'll come back Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and pre-tin these. Once again, they have some solder in them already, if you can see that. Um, but, when, you know, like I said, I like to add it fresh in there. So basically, I use my little tweezers here, and I just kind of set it right here on an angle. That way it, it pulls in there. And then, um, you know, once that gets hot, you'll see the solder flow, and you can... There we go. Go ahead and puddle some in there and pulled off you'll see that it's right up to the top there okay so go ahead and do that to all three of your connectors and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, join them together okay so usually um, you wanna slip your heat shrink and stuff on so I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a little piece of my heat shrink tubing and, and slide it down on the wire Okay, and with motor with uh, motor bullet connectors, you can do this afterwards. But me, I just I like to put it on. It's a good habit to have. Sometimes with Dean's connectors, um, you don't put the heat shrink on first. Once you get it soldered on, you're screwed. So you got to re um, unsolder it, of course. So I always like to practice slipping it on first. It helps me. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do here is once again, I'm gonna let this. Make sure it's on there all the way. I'm gonna let this uh, heat up till that solder melts. Make sure we're in the view of the camera here. 
make sure that solder melts and then I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this in there and they'll flow right together and then go ahead and lift off And you always want to hold it for a minute wait for it to harden once it sets I mean it's in there for good um, you don't want to draw pull off too quick because you'll notice the solder still a little weak once it hardens I mean it, it, it's on there for good but if you pull off too quick and move it you'll, you'll actually just pull the soldering joint right off um, you want to try not to flow the solder repeatedly too many times because it gets a little bit weaker um, so as long as you can practice and get that good good solder on the first go then you should be good um, you know let it let it cool down a little bit and, and, and really I like to really stress and try to bend the solder if it if it don't bend then uh, you've got a really good connection so afterwards you'll just uh, take your heat shrink slide it up there and line it up and then uh, melt it on down um, so go ahead and do that to all three of your pins and then uh, we're gonna come back and do the deans alright uh, just a quick recap this is my three motor wires with my uh, my bullet connectors heat shrink up um, I was gonna do a segment on heat shrinking but I think that's kinda self-explanatory so uh, anyways all of them look good it doesn't matter what color you use because my motor wires themselves are colored so um, as long as all of them feel good and sturdy on there you feel comfortable with it we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the business end over here um, and, and slap our deans on we're gonna repeat the same process so I'm not gonna film it twice um, we're gonna go ahead and drop a we'll, we'll, we'll actually do this one um, but go ahead and pre-tin your wires they're already pre-tinned but uh, once again I add a little more just uh, to freshen it up so uh, let's go ahead and move on alright we're gonna use the same concept here I'm gonna uh, hold my deans down and I'm gonna stick the flat end onto my soldering gun and, and you'll see the metal heat up and you'll see uh, the solder flow and what you're gonna wanna do is just get a nice little bead on there drop some on let it sit for a minute and then go ahead and pull it off once that hardens it gives us a nice little uh, bead of solder on there so then you know be really careful not to burn yourselves of course um, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it and we're gonna do the same to this one don't leave it on there for too long because once you melt the plastic on this Deans it, it uh, warps your plugs and it gets really hard to, to plug in and out of a battery so try to make it a fairly quick process let it sit on there for a minute hurry and get a bead on there let it sit pull it off um, it'll take practice you'll probably mess up many times trust me I did um, but it's going to be the same process heat shrink first on the wire set it down let it pull and then we can set our wire on there let them flow together and then we're going to lift up at the same time let them harden and then and then it'll be good so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you the finished product alright so on the last segment I actually said I was going to go ahead and solder them all up um, but there was something I wanted to go over with you real quick You'll notice on your Deans, um, it's probably really hard to see on here, but you have a positive and a negative plug. That's really important to note to make sure you get right. Um, otherwise, what you can do is note the orientation on here as compared to on here. You obviously want red to red and black to black. So the flat one's going to be red or positive, which it says there. And then the, the opposite direction one is going to be black. So make sure you get that right otherwise you're gonna be soldering it twice and uh, once again that's that's never any fun okay so red's gonna go right up here on the top so all I'm gonna do clamp it down here um, and we're gonna go for red well, actually don't forget heat shrink first on a Deans especially um, so we're gonna go ahead and put our red up here on the top which is positive once again if you don't know go ahead and check this okay so like I said you want to try to do it a little you know don't take forever so go ahead and let let this pool you're gonna see it flow okay and then we can go ahead and set our wire on there try to find a flat side here go ahead and let that flow together you'll see it okay once it flows go ahead and lift off and hold it for a minute you want that solder to harden once it hardens See, we didn't get a good harden on that one, so let's go ahead and try it again. Let that flow. Gonna have to wait a minute. These wires are a little thicker gauge, so there we go. 
now it flowed together so gonna go ahead and hold it try to hold it as still as you can careful for the motor wires because they do get pretty hot so don't burn your fingers if you got to use pliers or anything on the wires go ahead um, but you can see that I flowed together there um, you'll see the wire solder melt down that's how you know that it flows together you know once again uh, it's gonna be a little hot but uh, so be really careful but make sure you've got that good strong bond connection on there um, once it cools down you know wiggle it try to get it on there really good um, as long as you feel comfortable with the soldering connection you've made uh, go ahead and move on to the black one you know like I said before heat shrink go ahead and slip that up there heat shrink it um, just concentrate on one wire at a time and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other one and uh, I'll come back and uh, see what the finished product looks like alright guys um, finished product I've got my uh, Deans on here okay you know once again it's really important that you you make sure them connections are tight because if you're flying and you're using especially an ESC with a built-in BEC um, and this disconnects you're gonna lose all power so um, can't stress that enough make sure your soldering connections are good and solid take a look at the bullet uh, bullet end everything looks good they all feel really good and solid you know if you're ever double checking yourself you know make sure that your Deans is gonna plug in properly same concept if you're using any other sort of a, an end um, I like to use Deans they're standard they work really well um, never had any problems with them so um, but black to black red to red everything feels good um, now we can go ahead and install this on the helicopter and uh, go through the programming process on it and uh, use it so I hope this video was useful for you. Um, once again, leave me any tips or comments. Uh, let me know if it helps you out. I'm interested in knowing. Um, and also, if you feel like I left anything out or you have any tips for me, go ahead and uh, shoot me any messages or anything like that. Um, I'm going to continue to keep throwing some more videos up. So, hope this was useful. Remember, guys, if Freddy can fly, so can you.